A stock Gulfstream heat pump is fitted with an internal pressure switch in the electrical enclosure, which has a small diameter tube connected to the incoming water pipe. When water is flowing, the pressure trips the water pressure switch and allows the heat pump to start. When the installation of the heat pump is at a different height than the swimming pool water level, then the pressure switch may not have the required adjustment or will work unreliably. In this situation, it is required that a paddle type flow switch is used instead of the pressure switch. The paddle type flow switch is shipped with a slip T. The paddle switch with attached electrical wires and a converter to three-quarter NPT. If the paddle switch wires do not have quick connect terminals, then they need to be fitted and crimped with the correct tool. Before installing the water pressure switch, disconnect the main circuit breaker to the heat pump. The paddle flow switch is fitted in the incoming water line. The direction arrow on the flow switch must be in the direction of the water flow. The slip T is put in the water line with the middle connection vertical. The slip adapter is used to connect to 3 quarter NPT and the flow switch screws into the adapter. The two wires from the flow switch are fed along the water pipe and into the heat pump to the electrical box. Inside the electrical box, the back of the control board can be seen. The existing pressure switch is connected to the bottom right-hand side terminals T17 and T18 labeled WPS, water pressure switch. These wires are removed and replaced with the wires from the paddle switch. For questions about installation, please call the Heat Pump Services Department at 954-318-6900.